They say you can't have an impact on politics unless you have millions of dollars. This party has no money. That's how you know we represent the people. We need to get off of the sort of human idol worship, right? We have these political uh, personalities that we like and we trust, and so we go with them. And this is what happened with Obama. And this is what I don't want to happen with me, even. You know, I put up this this image of my truth face, and you know, it's sort of ridiculous, but it's more of a mock on the, uh, the hope poster that we saw for Obama. Well, hope didn't get us anywhere. What we need is truth. And so, uh, you know, I hesitate to even use the image, but I wanted something so that when I'm, you know, giving a radio call, people can see who it is or whatever without being, uh, well, I think there is some value in that, and uh, you know, I think you do have some some good leadership qualities, and I think people need that, and I think they need to, you know, have something that they can go to and someone that they can, you know, put as a face to this thing. But but I also agree with you that yeah, uh, I think one of your videos you said, you know, it doesn't matter who I am, this thing has to survive me, out survive me. It has to be around when I'm not here anymore. And. Um, a quote that comes to mind is, is speak not of uh, speak not of parties but of universal principles. So it doesn't matter what party is, is promoting them, it matters what the principles are and you know if 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 they're just gonna stand behind them and if it's true. This Prime Minister William Lyon Mackenzie King, he's the 10th Prime Minister of Canada. He said once a nation parts with control of its currency and credit. It matters not who makes the nation's laws. Usury, once in control, will wreck any nation. Until the control of the issue of currency and credit is restored to government and recognized as its most sacred responsibility, then all talk of the sovereignty of parliament and of democracy is idle and futile. What we do is focus our anger on the current leader so that when we, it's time to get rid of him or he steps down, we get so relieved that that guy's finally gone, we lower our defenses and so the new person can come in and we haven't done anything to address how these policies and taxes are brought to us in the first place. We have been lied to. So it's time to do something about it. What's the idea? What's the philosophy behind it? Well, the philosophy is uh, that there's no reason why our politicians and our political leaders can't tell us the truth all the time about everything and have the media uh, also investigate thoroughly all the truth whenever the politicians are uh, keeping something from us and then letting the people decide what actions to take, whether their perspective is left or right. And, uh, of course, I'm going to get into these divisions, which, you know, aren't really divisions. Most of us are just in the middle, but we're sort of divided into uh, different groups just to keep us uh, sort of arguing amongst ourselves instead of tackling some of these issues that aren't. They have us divided into left and right, arguing about things where we should all be agreeing on most things. You know, our politicians and our parties are set up to have these opposite ideals. But really, the parties should be quite similar because they're supposed to represent the people. So they should have a, a mix of everyone's opinion because we're not supposed to be electing these people to make decisions for us. We're supposed to put them in power to implement the decisions that we make. And if your parties were a little closer together ideology instead of so far apart, then you can toss one out for lying to you without having a massive social shift. I have a right-wing liberal government in this province, and if I want to get rid of them, then I have to go over to the far left of the NDP, or vice versa. It's not the way it should be. They're supposed to be doing what we say either way. So if we get rid of them because they're lying, they bring in someone else who does the exact same thing because he's doing what we told him to do. Who's, who's going to vote for any party the way we are now? It's been like that for years. 
Yeah. They're waiting for something like that. And, and the BC public is waiting for that. I, I certainly am. There's nothing to vote for. Who we got to vote for? You have no say. The leader has to be honest at all times, and then it doesn't matter which party he represents. As long as he comes in, does an honest house cleaning of that party, and is honest with the people. Regardless of how uncomfortable it is, or how much I'm smeared, we're going to tell the truth. And um, I, I'd like to see that the, the last caller, I think his name was Jamie. Jamie. Come in and be as honest and forthright as he has. You want a savior to come in that you could put your faith in, right? Absolutely. It's not coming for the right or the left. This is coming dead center. We're just people. Most of us are in the middle anyway. All these arguments and division. Oh, you're left wing, you're right wing. People ask me, I said, I'm going to start, you know, this party, come into politics. They said, well, what are you? Are you left wing or you're right wing? Are you a socialist, conservative, a communist, a libertarian, a green, a tree hugger? No, I'm a freedom hugger. And I ain't letting go. And all the questions everyone asked me when I said I'm coming in, not one person said, are you honest? And I would like to give the people some assurance that we're being watched. And I know you, you know, you have a radio gig, but maybe you could do it on the side and sort of. <laughs> I tell you, I tell you what, Jamie. You're the boss, Dad. I tell you what, man. If you get elected, I'll take the job. All right? Okay. When's the last time the premier was out here talking to the people? You have no say. I've looked into everything I'm talking about. That's why I have no social life. That's why I have no friends. That's why I have a neglected wife. I spend all my time focusing on things that I shouldn't have to because it's the media's job to tell the people what's going on. There's a the firefighters. You're gonna see more firefighters laid off in the future. In a budget cuts. The firefighters, ambulance workers, teachers. Everything is gonna be explained to you that well we have to cut all these things because of the economic crisis. And then every year it's well it's a little worse than we thought, worse than analysts predicted. No, it's not. It's exactly as they have predicted and designed. We are on the verge of economic collapse that has not yet begun and they come on radio and television and tell you, oh, now's a good time to get in the market. Now is not a good time to get in the market. pretty picture you're painting. Well, it isn't. And, you know, I think it's time that uh, people start realizing that the jig is up and we have got to stop listening to these stupid politicians and these repeaters on the business channels who are clueless.